Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Penn State is canceling in-person classes through the end of the semester. A record average of more than 80,000 cases a day now in this country. A team of researchers at the PSU Center for Biodevices are developing a device to seal the nasal and oral cavities during endoscopic surgery. This device is needed to protect clinicians and others in the operating room from aerosol droplets generated by patients with COVID-19. The job of our team is to design and fabricate these test fixtures used to assess nasal coverings for endoscopic surgery. These fixtures cannot shed particles and must fit on a test rig, which will test different masks for their filtration efficiency. So to begin this project, our team first took some time to really understand the problem at hand and the project objectives. We also researched other universities and research centers on how they are testing face masks. When selecting which test fixture concepts we wanted to pursue, we measured each against our customer requirements. These customer requirements were turned into design specifications, which ultimately would determine the success of our product. When selecting a material, we had to make sure that the material could handle the pressure conditions inside the test rig, as well as not be particle shedding. Also, we had to make sure that the material didn't have any porosity, where air could physically blow through the fixture itself. When assembling the pieces of our fixtures, we had to ensure an airtight and complete seal of all pieces. For prototyping, I took the ideas that overlapped and the ones that our team decided were good and turned them into CAD models and later 3D printed parts. Following prototyping, the team decided on two primary test fixtures, those being a custom silicone molded head and a 3D printed nose and tape plate. The sponsor and the test rig operator both agreed that these two fixtures would be able to accommodate the most mass geometries. Our final design was proved a success by two of our most important tests. First, we did a particle count test. And through this filtration test with our test fixture only, we were able to determine there was no per significant percent difference in particle count between the upstream and downstream chambers in the test rig. Additionally, on our final design, we performed an at-home leak test in which we filled the inside chambers of the device with water and we let it set. After qualitatively assessing the device, we found no leaks in our design. Our final fixtures have been assembled and delivered to the sponsor for immediate testing. We'd like to thank everyone who helped to make this project and semester a success.